Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be trying uh, Jordan Liberty's skin prep techniques and um, there is four steps I believe to it, which I've never tried before. There is one, two, three, four, there's four steps. So first we are going to moisturize. I have already moisturized with my Earth to Skin um, Now the next step is to powder the skin and we're going to be doing that with translucent powder. That's what he recommends and he recommends it to be a light powder just so it doesn't cake up the skin. Alright, I'm going to be using my makeup, my first by Makeup First. It's a, trans it's a translucent powder from France. They are... They don't have the ingredients that most brands have uh, because in France there is a lot of ingredients that are banned because they are either bad for the skin or um, they are proven to be um, carcinogenic, cancerous. So I really appreciate that. So now we're just going to go in to the entire face. I have a little mirror here. So I haven't powdered this area, so let's see. After I powder it, the shine should go down. Let's see. Yep, it's going down. <laughs> and as you guys can tell, I am powdering my entire face, making sure I don't miss any oily spots, just so it doesn't interfere with my makeup later on. And I believe this should be enough. I feel like my skin is powdered down enough. Okay, so now the next step is going to be setting spray. I don't have setting spray, but I do have primer water. Okay, now that it's on, I'm just going to fan it with my hands. So the next step would be the primer. Okay, so for primer, I'm gonna be using the Smashbox. It is the Photo Finish, and it's oil-free. Okay, so I'm just gonna be applying it to my really oily zones. Oh, there's a hair. He recommends a pore-filling primer. just really love this one it really gets into your pores and it makes it seem like you have flawless skin when you don't <laughs> make sure you really wash your hands before touching your face you don't want to get any acne because of this or you don't want to introduce any more oils to your skin to your face that can maybe get in the way of your makeup looking flawless okay so now the next step would be adding on my regular makeup um to do this i'm just going to be color correcting my red spots and my discoloration on my face and then going on with concealer um maybe just spot treating my my uh, discolora discoloration on my face I don't want a heavy face of um, foundation or powder, so I'm just going to be spot treating it. And to do that, I'm just going to be using my color correcting palette, and I'm going to be using a concealer brush. Uh, make sure it's not too small. Make sure it's not like this. Make sure it's not like this small. It has to be relatively um, medium sized just so you can um, finish quicker. If you use a brush like this, you're going to be like stuck doing um, color correction a long time. And when you don't have time, the least thing you want to do is use the wrong brushes. I'm gonna just going to go in into the green and I'm going to be applying this green to my red spots. 
and it will cancel any red that I have. It feels tacky. And I feel like this is because of the the setting spray or the water and the primer and everything in the that I added to my skin before doing this. The redness is canceled. Now we're just gonna spot treat the discoloration. The hyperpigmentation, I should say. And to do that, we're just going to be going in with, with a foundation color of my shade. And I always pick this one and it is a per it's a perfect match for me. So I'm just going to be going in and just spot treating the marks. So if you see, they're going away and it's just, it's just incredible what makeup can do. With this whole quarantine thing, um, I hope you guys have been doing good. I hope you guys and your family are doing good. Make sure your mental health, make sure you take this time if you can um, to really focus on your mental health and your physical wellness. What I've been doing is I've been um, resistance training and uh, I've been also running, um, just watching what I eat carefully. Um, I don't stop myself from eating what I want. I just um, control the portions. That's all. That's how it used to look like, and this is how it looks like now. Actually, we are going to use my concealer, my color corrector, on the cheeks, because I do tend to be red there. Okay, so I'm not sure if you guys can see it on camera, but there is a difference. You can kind of see a little bit of redness right there, and right here it's like almost gone. Let's do the same on this side. This is really nice when makeup can do to your skin, and you don't have to use a lot of it. Okay, so now we're just going to go in into my cheeks with that foundation. And the foundation is by Cinema Secrets. I just love it. Now we're just going to go in down to our jawline. And it's not a lot of product. I'm really not using a lot. I just scooped it up just like two swipes. And this has been enough to cover this area and all the way down here. And as you can see... There's still some extra on the brush, enough to go over what I had already spot treated. My skin still looks like skin. And I just love this. So for my forehead, I like to just start in the middle and drag it to the side. And then just spread it around. I tend to get red right here, but I don't feel like I need to color correct. I feel like it should be enough with the foundation. Sometimes we really want to color correct everything, but you really have to pay attention and know like, hey, like, do I need to color correct or is it just enough with the foundation? Because if you color correct in places where foundation would have been enough, you're just adding layers and layers of makeup that you don't need. Especially if you are oily right here, um, it's better to just keep it to a minimal. Now we're just going over the nose, just to the sides. 
<laughs> I know I said I would just spot treat with foundation, but once you get into it, you can't stop. I just love seeing my skin that it's just so flawless. So we're just going to do the same to this side. We are going to be going in like we did on this cheek. We're just going to be starting right here and spreading it to the sides. My under eyes, I don't really want to bother them now. I don't really want to take care of them just now because I am going to be going in with some concealer under it. And I don't want to layer it up if I don't need to because the concealer is going to be enough to cover my under eyes. I have a beauty mark right here and I don't want to cover it up. I, I like it. I don't want to cover it up too much. So I'm just going to go in with some light foundation around my chin. And then we are going to be going in with the beauty blender. Just to mold everything into the skin. Push everything into the skin. And again, this is not meant to be perfect. You don't have to be going at it like millions of time, waiting it, waiting for it to be blended into the skin. We're going to be going in with the Beauty Blender right now. We're just spot treating it and making sure it has coverage on it. And then with the Beauty Blender, we are going to be going in with it to make sure that it is pushed into the skin. Red mark right here, and I don't anymore, thanks to the color corrector and the um, foundation that I put under it or over it. And then over here, I also had some marks, some acne marks, and some um, discoloration, hyperpigmentation, and now I don't because of the color correction and the foundation that I put over it. Um, now, so to take care of my eyes, I'm just going to be going in with some foundation. I'm not going to be wearing any eyeshadow for this video, so... I'm just going to cover it with foundation. Just some light foundation because your eyelids tend to be oily and you don't want to overdo it. Okay. Alright, so now with the Beauty Blender, we are going to be going and pushing everything into the skin. Alright guys, so I wet my Beauty Blender. Um, I made sure I squeezed out all of the excess water out of it. You don't want it too wet. Because sometimes it could interfere with your foundation or your um, the work that you've already done on your face. You don't want that. So you just lightly tap it into the skin. Just very lightly. You don't want to overdo it either. Okay, so I feel like that's enough for that. Like I'm saying, it's just very, very like light. Light tap it. Tap it. Light taps. So just blend, blend, blend everything together. The goal, guys, the goal is to have makeup that looks like skin. The goal is not to cover up your features. I feel like that's what um, a lot of beauty gurus have done nowadays and just people that people that like makeup but really need to start focusing on uh, accentuating your features and making them look making your face look realistic and not um, fake, you know? Like, you don't want to change up your face. I feel like everybody is beautiful in their own skin, their own face, their own features. You don't need to change them. Of course, sometimes I, um, my nose gets to my head, you know? It's just like, oh, I don't, I wish I had a smaller nose and I, I wish I had this and that, but I feel like it's just because of social media, you know? They start like, putting into your head these ideas like oh a smaller nose is the way to go and it's really not you know you were born this way because you were born this way for a reason like you don't have to be like everybody else you really have to get out of your head right get those ideas out of your head get off of social media and go outside and look at the real world world nobody not everybody has a perfect nose. Not everybody is concerned with it because really out in the real, in the real world, it's 
nobody's looking at your nose. It's just social media. It's just, you know, the beauty industry. But we have to change those standards of beauty. It is up to us to stand up and say, you know what? I like my nose. And you know what? It's okay. And no, I don't have a tiny, tiny nose, but I don't care. Okay? I like my nose. I like my face. I like myself. And we really have to start appreciating each other and appreciating our bodies the way we were born. And we have to start telling everybody that they're beautiful because really it's just people that um, have this idea of beauty that's not realistic. They are suffering the most. And um, you really have to and be strong. Be mentally strong to know that what you see on social media is not right and it's not true and we are living in the era of um technology in the era of editing editing our bodies you know to look or to fit into the beauty standards with uh, the beauty industry nowadays we are not appreciating ourselves and we want to look like people that do not exist all right guys so my makeup is really really looking flawless like look at my face it looks flawless like i know you can kind of see those marks like you can still kind of see them but that's gonna happen that's gonna happen there's no way to hide them a hundred percent there is but you have to really cake on makeup or you have to use a really um coverage like a hundred percent coverage foundation and i um I'm not, I don't have that at the moment, or I think I do. I think the Becca foundation is pretty full coverage. I also have the other Becca one that's actually, that actually says full coverage, but I don't want that. I, I want to start to learn to appreciate myself and to stop like having a problem with my acne scars. You know, I really want to feel beautiful just the way I am. And while makeup does kind of help, I just, I don't want to appear fake. I don't want to seem fake. I don't want to be somebody that I'm not. Powdering, powdering our face. And to do that, we are just going to be going in with the same powder that I was talking about. The one from France, the one that doesn't have any, um, well, not any, but it has less harmful ingredients for your skin. Than any in France there is about if I'm not wrong and if I recall correctly about 1200 ingredients banned from the cosmetology world and in the United States I think there's only nine nine just there's only nine ingredients banned and in France there's about 1200 if I'm not wrong, 2,000, 1,200, I'm not sure. All right guys, so my foundation is set. I love it, uh, it looks really good. Um, I follow Jordan Liberty's technique. Um, it looks flawless, it really does. Now I'm just gonna be going in with a brighter foundation shade under my eyes and I'm gonna do a mixture of this one and this one. Mm, yeah, this one and this one. I'm going to be following Robert Welsh's technique. Am I saying it right? Robert Welsh? I think that's I think that's his name. He's a YouTuber that's like anti-beauty gurus and like he's not anti-beauty gurus but like he points out the problems that they have set as a trend regarding to makeup. All right, so now he said to blend, blend the corners and then into the eye. Blend the corners and into the eye. Do you guys see the difference? I see the difference. But I'm still gonna go in with a little bit more. And now right directly over my dark circles.
Okay. So that should be good. Do you guys see this, the difference now? There's like barely any dark circle here and now, but there is right here. And I still have to blend that out. Whenever I try to contour, my acne marks tend to like show through. And I don't want that. Like, is there any way to avoid that? Like, because you know, like when you have a brush here and you want to contour, like you have, there's, it's inevitably going to show through because you're just rubbing at it. I'm thinking of just tapping it or I'm not sure. I'm going to try it over the foundation. I'm just going to do some dots, just like that. Don't want to overdo it. So following the same line that I did over here. I hope it's the same line. It's pretty even, right? Is it even? I really hope it's even. <laughs> I hope it's even. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do this. Oh, this is strong. This is a strong fun color. Oh, Lord Jesus. Okay. Okay, it's blending. It's blending out. Hmm. I feel like it should have been more down here. I don't know, let's just try it. Okay, it's definitely blending out, but it is very like, it has a lot of like orange undertones, red undertones. Oh, do you see my acne marks? Like they're showing through guys. <laughs> So, I guess we can always go in with some more foundation, right? So, I feel like this one is more blended out, and this one ended up a little bit too far into my cheek. Um, and to fix that, I'm just going to be using foundation. Mm, just a little bit right there. Okay, so it's a million times better now. <laughs> Just go in and cover up that foundation mark. Mm -hmm. mm, now that I have the base of the contouring down, I'm just gonna go in with the powder. This um, color. It's like a... What's the word? Can't find the word. Can't think of the word. I'll insert it right here. Taupe. That's the word. Taupe. A taupe color. Guys, it's looking actually pretty good. Yeah, it's actually looking pretty good. Yeah. We can always go in and clean it up. Okay, so that side is good. Now I just have to work on this side. The sun is going down, so excuse if my lighting is bad or different. I use I am using my ring light along with the sunlight. 
Um, so. Guys, I forgot to powder under my eyes, so I'm just gonna be taking a small brush, going in with that same powder, and just look up. And then that is all I need. There's no need to be baking. No need of all of that. Okay, okay. All right guys, so now, I don't know, I feel like I still need something. I could highlight, but I feel like this is good. I like it, I'm comfortable. You know what, I wanna contour some more. Could you have a contour too much? All right. All right, going with some more contour. What are we getting into? I don't know. Okay, it looks good. And now, like I said, just blend it out. Try to build it up slowly. Okay. I feel like this is good. Um, so yeah, look at my face. It turned out flawless. Dude, um, because of uh, Jordan Liberty's technique, it looks really, really good. It looks really good. I like it. I mean, like, look at it up close. It's just flawless. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Comment down below what do you guys think about this technique have you guys had trouble with it have you guys tried it if not give it a try um i think it really does make a difference because right now my face just looks it doesn't look oily it doesn't look cakey it looks really really good and um i like it um yeah i, I really like it and um, thank you jordan liberty for doing this for us thank you guys and comment down below if you like this video